the God who chooses Clinton and gives us the gift of this new deacon is a God who speaks to us in this moment, communicates with us constantly, but speaks with a particular kind of power and eloquence in this moment of ordination. And what we have heard from the mouth of God has been exceedingly strange. As we come to ordain our brother Clint to the diaconate, God speaks to us subversively. And this is where you see that the scripture interprets us before ever we interpret the scripture. God gives us three words to understand what happens in this moment of diaconal ordination. The first of them comes from the prophet Jeremiah, who when he hears the call of God, says, but I am a child, a child. I'm not properly equipped. I'm not ready for the task that you lay upon me. And these are words placed by God on the heart of Clinton McGoldrick. He isn't properly equipped. I know all that he's done through years to prepare for this moment, but nothing can truly equip you, nothing can truly make you ready, make you other than a child when you face the call of God in all its vastness. So Clint with us says to God, but I am a child. And the reply comes as it came to Jeremiah, I will equip you. I will make you ready. And in ways you can scarcely imagine. The second word that God gives us in all its strangeness, is prisoner. Paul speaks of himself as the prisoner in the Lord. And he was in jail. Now what does it mean to be imprisoned? It means to be powerless. You're stripped of power. And you might say or think that ordination confers a certain power. But here is God saying that I draw Clint into an experience of powerlessness, the powerlessness of service that will end up costing Paul his life and it will end up costing Clint his life too. Not the way of power but the way of service that makes us prisoners in the Lord. And if we are imprisoned in him, we are set free forever. So the God who says you are prisoner says I will set you free from every prison. And then from the lips of the Lord himself, we hear strange things. Blessed are the poor in spirit, blessed the gentle, those who mourn, those who hunger and thirst for what is right, the merciful, the pure in heart, the peacemakers, the persecuted, all the losers of this world. What a procession of losers we see. And here he is on the mount saying, blessed are you. In other words, when we ordain a deacon,